I'm Jasmine is Amazing. Today I'm going to be reading Be Amazing, A History of Pride by Desmond is Amazing, me, and Pictures by Dylan Glenn. Also published by Macmillan Children's Publishing. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Desmond. I'm a drag kid and LGBTQ advocate. LGBTQ stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer. I live in New York City, where I like to play video games, read, sing, collect toy trains, dance, and model. I enjoy going to school and have many friends. When I'm not being just Desmond, I like to dress up as characters of a different gender. This is called drag. My drag persona is Desmond is Amazing. My motto is be yourself always. I can be myself thanks to my parents who let me be me. And thanks to the very brave people who fought to make it okay for me and or anyone else like me to be whoever we want to be. I'm lucky because most people accept me for who I am. In fact, lots of people think I'm pretty amazing. Some people don't, but you know what I always say? Pay the haters no mind. They'll never be as fierce as you and I. In the past, it wasn't always possible for people to dress or act or live any way they wanted. Throughout history, LGBTQ people have been punished, humiliated, attacked, and discriminated against. They could lose their jobs, be forced into hospitals, or even get arrested just for being who they were. The Stonewall Inn was one of the few safe spaces for LGBTQ people in New York City. However, the Stonewall Inn and other places like it were often raided and shut down by the police as a way to bully the LGBTQ community. On June 28, 1969, police officers invaded the Stonewall Inn. But people were fed up with the way they were being treated, so they stood their ground. Word quickly spread. For several days, fighting took place at the Stonewall Inn as thousands of people joined in to help support the LGBTQ community. This uprising became known as the Stonewall Riots. The Stonewall Riots were an important turning point in the history of LGBTQ people. They began openly voicing their opinions and fight for equal rights. They formed LGBTQ advocacy groups, published newspapers, and organized parades and marches. In 2009, President Barack Obama declared June LGBT Pride Month. He said the Stonewall Riots were a reason to commit to achieving equal justice under the law for LGBT Americans. We look back on those who took a stand at the Stonewall Riots as heroes who should be celebrated for giving LGBTQ people, like me, the freedoms we enjoy today. One of these heroes was Marsha P. Johnson. She was an African-American drag artist, model, and LGBTQ advocate. Marsha was born Malcolm, Malcolm Michaels Jr. on August 24, 1945, in New Jersey. She enjoyed wearing dresses starting at age five, but her family had a difficulty accepting her for who she was. Marsha moved to New York City on her own after high school. Although Marsha was often homeless and struggling, she was known for being bold, outspoken, and optimistic. When asked what the P in her name stood for, she would always reply, pay it no mind. Marsha's goal was to see gay people liberated and free and to have equal rights that other people have in America. Marsha's friend, Sylvia Rivera, a Latin American transgender activist, was another hero of the Stonewall Riots. 
Sylvia was born Ray Rivera on July 2, 1951, in New York City. From a young age, Sylvia knew she was transgender. Even though she looked like a boy, she felt like a girl inside. At age 11, Sylvia ran away from home and was taken in by the local drag community. In 1970, Sylvia and Marsha P. Johnson helped found STAR, or Street Transgender Action Revolutionaries, one of the first organizations to help homeless transgender youth. Sylvia once said, we have to be visible. We should not be ashamed of who we are. We have to show the world that we are numerous. There are many of us out there. Today, Sylvia's legacy carries on. The Sylvia R Rivera Law Project is an organization de dedicated to assisting, supporting, training, and providing legal services for tra tra transgender and gender nonconforming people of color. On June, June 28, 1970, the Christopher Street Liberation Day March was held in New York City to commemorate the one-year anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. It was the first LGBTQ Pride event in the United States. Thousands of people gathered together and marched uptown on 6th Avenue, ending with a gay inn in Central Park's Sheep Meadow. The official slogan for the event became Pride. L. Craig Schoonmaker, a member of the March's planning committee, said, A lot of people were very repressed. They were conflicted internally and didn't know how to come out and be proud. That's how the movement was most useful, because they thought, maybe I should be proud. Soon, marches were being held in other cities in the United States. Today, pride is celebrated worldwide. In June 2015, I attended New York City's <clears throat> I attended New York City's Pride March for the first time. I took my time choosing the perfect outfit to wear that expressed my personality. I was overjoyed and enthusiastic when I arrived at the march. My parents weren't sure I would only walk for a few blocks and want to quit, but I proved them wrong and danced the entire march route. I loved hearing people cheer. There were many smiles and even some happy tears. The next day, I awoke to find out that I had become a viral drag sensation. I have been dressing up in skirts, dresses, and tutus ever since I first discovered drag by watching the television show RuPaul's Drag Race. I thought RuPaul and the contestants were so beautiful and amazing, just like princesses. I said, I want to do that. My parents allowed me to explore dressing up and creating colorful characters, just like RuPaul. RuPaul Andres Charles was born November 17, 1960 in California. He is a drag artist, actor, singer, songwriter, model, and host of several drag themed television shows. In 2009, RuPaul began producing the television show RuPaul's Drag Race, where drag artists compete in wacky challenges to be crowned the, the next drag superstar. Unlike Sylvia Rivera, a transgender woman, RuPaul is a man who enjoys dressing up as characters in drag. It doesn't necessarily mean that he is transgender, although transgender people can also enjoy doing drag. Anyone can do drag. RuPaul has brought the art of drag and LGBTQ culture into the mainstream. He has broken boundaries of what drag looks like and what drag artists can do with their performances. RuPaul's tagline is, Everybody Say Love. I can freely be the character, Desmond is amazing, because of the hard work of generations of people in the LGBTQ community. But there is still work to be done. The next generation of LGBTQ advocates, like me, are ready to continue to fight for our rights, strive for equality, and promote acceptance. Here are some of the people who have fought for our rights and that 
we should all be thankful for them because without them, we would not have the rights that we have today. Pepper, Leve Pe Pepper Lebeja, Laverne Cox, James Baldwin, Miss Major, Willie Ninja, and Stormy Delavari. And that's me, Desmond is amazing. Whether you do drag, whether you love drag like I do, or sports, or science, or art, or computers, or math, or reading, or something no one else even heard of, everyone should be free to feel amazing. Always. What makes you amazing? Dear readers, pride is a feeling of honor and self-respect. It is the feeling of being worthwhile. It is having self-esteem. We can all feel pride by expressing ourselves in a way that makes us happy or makes us feel beautiful, or in a way that feels right in our hearts. Simply put, self-expression is the art of being you, always. Self-expression has no limits. You can be who you are no matter your age, race, orientation, identity, gender, financial status, class, disabilities, or abilities. You can like rap music or pop music. You can have long hair or short hair. You can wear dresses or shorts. There is no right or wrong way to be yourself. Bullies are people who try to make you feel bad about yourself so they can feel better about themselves. They may say things like, you're queer, you're a sissy, or that's so gay. They may say these things, whoops, but using, using these terms as a way to insult others is never okay. Sometimes people will bully you when you are being yourself. That doesn't mean that there is something wrong with you. If you are getting bullied or see someone else getting bullied, tell an adult whom you trust. You are beautiful, strong, and full of courage. Bullies will never be as fierce as you are. I followed the advice of Marshall B. Johnson. She said, pay it no mind. It's their issues, not mine. I want you to, rem to remember to never let the bullies hurt you. Just do you. I want each and every one of you to express yourselves today any way you want. Today is your pride. With love, Desmond is amazing. Thank you so much for enjoy. I hope you enjoyed me reading The Amazing, A History of Pride by Desmond is Amazing. And I am so glad that I had the opportunity to read it with you all.